Hello there, this is Cookies, and I've got, I think it's turn 40, 41, of L.A. Arethea. And let's see, we got 500 gold from Kalem because you sold him our Death Gems at 25 per. We can't make use of Death Gems, but Kalem can. And I want gold right now, so that, that was a mutually beneficial trade. And... Let's see, so we had a few a few fights. Is this any good? Nope. We move into Pergamy. So we're putting his fort under siege, and it looks like he's holding the outside. Oh, we're hitting the mage line with some air elementals. He did have a couple of oppressor generals probably set up to do air elementals. But they were um, buffing. I think they were doing like a summon earth power and iron skin and temper flesh and all that. And they did not have time for that. Please stop burning my trolls. It would be a nice buff to archery if your own archers had like a 50% chance of missing your own units. Just to uh, reduce some of the friendly fire nonsense. Alright. So we lose two. We probably have some afflicted to hell trolls from the burning. And we found a dragon helmet, but we managed to kill 10 mages, so an excellent victory. We did burn some gems, because we did air, ele air elementals, but they were completely worth it. I don't think there's much left inside the fort, and we cracked it first turn. So we're going to go ahead and try to storm. I mean, there could be like a Lystragonian tyrant in there, and he could like firestorm or something, but hopefully we'd communion up and kill him fast enough. Uh, because they fought us on the outside, we're not going to spring the Earthquake Trap yet. So these scouts are going to stay hidden. We're just going to adapt the script a little bit. And then eventually we're going to try and bring this army over and take this other fort in Gerillion. Additionally, uh, we're going to set up here. So we've got this force on the throne in case he tries to ride out. Could it hold? Maybe. We've got 65 troops. We have decent mage support. And we have 10 PD. So we have a few additional troops. He's got 100 superior troops. So, I don't know. Uh, the other thing we're doing is we're coming up here. So we're bringing mostly just a foot army. But it is backed up by a Soul Slate Communion. Can a Lystragonian kill this? Uh, probably. Uh, especially one with like 23 MR. So what I am considering doing is instead of going here, I'm considering sending everything here. And then this, this whole army can come take on this fort. I think that might be better. Maybe we'll go here, and then we'll send the gem all over here, too. Alright, so we'll patrol here. We'll try and kill his stuff. There is the possibility that Ulm vultures. Um, I'll probably have a talk with him if he vultures this. And... Yeah, and then our main goal is to go sit on this fort. We'll have to see if we can kill the army on it. 
especially if it firestorms, like 100 units with firestorm. Whew, that would be bad. But we'll have to see what we can do. Um, yeah, I think this is just safer. Keep everything together. We'll have significantly more soul slay coming out. So even something with 23 MR is going to start running the odds with this much. I mean, look at all these mages. Now, if he does survive a few rounds and he puts up Firestorm, he could kill all these mages. And that would be devastating. Um, but at some point, you got to risk it for the biscuit, and we're definitely at the point where we got to risk it. So... Yeah, we'll see if we can get all these troops together. We should have... If he fights on the outside, we should have decent siege strength, depending on how many survive. He does have more terracotta soldiers. And the Mouflon cataphracts. This could be... Could definitely be a firestorm trap, because the terracotta soldiers wouldn't care. Mufalon Cataphracts might have enough HP. How much HP did it? Uh, Raga. Oh, 12 HP? Uh, maybe not. So if I do the Firestorm Trap, if I'm Flagra, I probably leave the Cataphracts inside. And I sit outside with the Tyrant. And the terracotta soldiers and probably some of the mages huh 20 enemy and it's mostly mages so this is the research park hmm we'll see uh, we're gonna move out these mages as well All right, and we did see MR gear, I think, on the last one. So if he is like 23 MR, he could probably survive a lot of soul slays. Ooh, I don't know. We'll have to see. It could be uh, pretty spicy, though. It'd be nice if we could bring air elementals with us and disrupt things again. Are you air elementals? Yeah, so we do have some. And then these two guys are just getting rolled into the siege. They're going to do lightning bolts. Okay. Hopefully there's a lab in here. Should be. And then we can... Uh... We might have to magic phase, but hopefully we could just move through into the plains and put this other fort under siege. Alright, and... Arco's still sieging this, which means we still get a little bit more income, and it's not cracked. Uh, also, we're spending all our money on infrastructure to replace some of the infrastructure that we're losing. Castles for days. Putting up the rock walls here. Castle. This is the only one that we're not upgrading just yet, but we're getting a commander to go ahead and do that. And we've got, we're only missing one lab at one temple here, and presumably we'll have to temple these two, and we can probably wait to do that, because I'm mostly going to want mystics from these two. We should have plenty of Deducos uh, recruiting centers. So, yeah, 
I think that's it. Um, yes, this is our formation for this one. And this will be the formation for this one. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Um, not as much going on this turn. Let's see, did I miss some battles? Uh, Ulm went ahead and took this and lost a Templar. Uh, I think this was kind of cool. Let's double check. It's statist attacking Bogurus. Little raiding group. Bunch of sacreds. It's a really intense bless that he's running, but it's kind of cool too because he's got all these different sacreds. So. And these snakes are just giant HP pulls that blood vengeance. All those red lines. It's pretty cool to see. I wonder if this guy got stolen. Like enslaved mind, and then he got a charm somehow. Seems like it. Alright. The Tomb King leads his sacreds to victory. Eh, lost 11 troops. Doesn't really matter, though. Lost some... Oh, that's unfortunate. Lost some population. And Joman has been vanquished. So, finally put out of his misery, even though his fort still stands. Someday, Kalen will crack that fort and put up Maelstrom. And I'm guessing that's going to be like the cast for ages, because he's been saving for it for a long time. It might be really hard to take down at some point. Which, that's fine with me. I'm fine bringing friends with Calum if he's willing to be friendly. There might come a point where he tries to throne rush this. Uh, but I can definitely try and make that difficult. But yeah, I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and see you in turn 42. Have a good one.